Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we are going to show you how to uh, do a clean install of Windows 10. So what you need to do is, uh, you, do, you need to either have a DVD of uh, Windows 10 by burning the ISO which we uh, downloaded. So we already done a video on how to download the ISO files of Windows 10. So once you have uh, downloaded the ISO files, you can either create a bootable uh, USB drive or you can create a uh, bootable DVD. So these are the two options uh, to do a clean install. So now we have a bootable uh, uh, USB drive and now we are going to try out how to install uh, Windows 10 uh, in a clean install so you need to have a uh, drive where you don't have any files uh, which is uh, completely blank uh, so that you can uh, start uh, installation so now uh, we have, we have uh, selected uh, the language so it's uh, we have selected English uh, then uh, keyboard input uh, is US so once uh, what happens is once you have inserted the CD and when you restart the device you need to press uh, any key to start the uh, booting process from uh, uh, DVD or the USB drive. So once that is done, you'll uh, you'll see that the Windows setup is loading, and you'll get this uh, screen that is Windows set setup screen. Now let's click next on the screen. Now we have uh, this option uh, Windows uh, install now. Uh, now let's click uh, install now. So now it will start the installation. So setup is starting. So here since we are doing a clean install, uh, you need to have uh, the product key. So let's um, enter the product key here. So once you have entered the product key, you can uh, start the uh, start the installation process. So next step, uh, we have the licensing terms. So accept the license and click next. So what type of installation uh, do you want? Uh, upgrade, install Windows uh, and keep file settings and application. So we are not going to do a uh, upgrade here. We will do a custom uh, install that's Windows uh, only. So that's uh, the one. So you need to select the second one. So now uh, we need to select the drive. So we have this drive that is uh, by uh, internal storage drive. So a minimum uh, we would recommend is uh, to create a drive with around uh, 40, 50 gigabyte so that you have uh, enough uh, space uh, once you have installed uh, Windows 10. So now let's click next. So now it's copying the files. So this will take some time uh, and uh, uh, it will be getting ready for installation and then uh, installing the features, installing updates and then finally finishing up. So this will take some time so let's uh, wait for this to complete and then we'll come back and then uh, see um, the installation of the process. So now the installation is complete now we have to set up uh, Windows 10 so just use uh, Express settings so now a few more things uh, you can just select I own it uh, now let's click next so now let's uh, Enter the Microsoft account. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can also create one, or you can even skip this process. But we would obviously suggest you to do the uh, create uh, the Microsoft account or enter the Microsoft account. Now let's enter it. So if you want to set a pin, uh, uh, you can do that here. So let, let's just skip this process. But you can always set a pin here. So let's just skip this process. So you can see meet Cortana, Cortana is your uh, new assistant, uh, personal assistant, digital personal assistant where you can help uh, with your searches and other things. So click next. Now the final step is uh, setting up your apps. So this will uh, obviously take some time although it mentions uh, this won't take long. Uh, it will take some time because uh, it has to install all the, all the default or co rather the core apps from Microsoft. So that will take some time. Now let's wait for this to complete. So there you go, we have uh, Windows 10 configured uh, with uh, um, I mean latest features. So we have this Cortana, the new browser, uh, new apps and stuff. So you can see here this is a new start menu. 
and uh, we have a lot of features including Cortana. So, so that was the installation of the rather the clean install of uh, Windows 10 and uh, we just showed you how to install it uh, using the bootable DVD or bootable uh, USB drive. So uh, one thing you have to make sure is that if you're doing uh, the clean install uh, uh, in the first go you will need a product key but if you are upgraded from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 uh, on your PC and then later try to uh, clean install you won't be asked the product key but if you are doing a clean install before uh, upgrading from 8.1 or 7 you have to enter the product key while installing Windows 10. So that was the quick uh, video and uh, we have uh, showed you in detail how to install clean install Windows 10. So hope you like this video if you have any questions on this just drop a comment uh, we will be glad to help you out with your questions. If you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos on Windows 10. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.